What's going on YouTube? I'm VarietyGamer85 back with some more Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Last time we pre cleared the entirety of World 2 ending with Boss Necky's Nuts and we're going to move on to World 3. This is actually where we can show off Funky's flights. This is Funky Kong. He has a little bit of dialogue for us. However, it's worth noting that you can only use Funky's flights, yes, if you to go to a world you've already been to. I already saved the game, so now we're moving on to Vine Valley. This is where things get a little more difficult in my opinion. Moving on to Vulture Culture. See this game. Or this stage introduces uh, many Neckies. And there are a lot of Neckies in this stage as well. Uh, use this tire to bounce off here, get the K. And this tire is used to access a bonus area, which is up here. Oh, shit. <laughs> For some reason, I thought this was the Bounce on the Clap Trap mini game, and I got a little bit too eager. <laughs> okay, that was just another one of the uh, Spell the Correct Letter games, which, yep, that's what I was afraid of. One mistake after another, huh, guys? That's why I usually uh, bounce off it as Donkey. Because Diddy tends to go pretty far. Okay, let's try that again. Go ahead and bounce off the tire. I don't need to show off the bonus again because I already got it. Hold on a sec. There he is. Yeah, that's why I tend to use it as don. That's why I tend to do that as donkey, not Diddy. There's a bonus over here as well. Karate chop it. Here's the bounce on the clap trap mini game I was thinking of before. When a bounce of these clap traps and they'll spit out bananas, and give you an increasing uh, an increasing amount. If you get hit by one of these guys, you'll simply be warped out of the bonus room. There you go, we get a red balloon for our efforts. Make up the life I just lost. Also, yes, that's Donkey's Victory Animation. Must be getting close to the there it is. Whew, almost screwed that up. Watch out for these neckies, almost got hit. And believe it or not, we haven't actually come across the O yet. There it is right there. This level isn't too terribly long. Uh, there is no bonus right there. A barrel will let, lead you to think that there is, but there actually isn't. Watch out for the zingers. There's a buddy barrel there. We're going to be forced to break. There's a secret right there, if I'm not mistaken. I was afraid of. Bounce off this and grab the secret. Oh. Pretty cool, right? My dad actually taught me that. Yeah, my mom and dad, they know a lot about this game. Like they know about where a lot of the secret bananas with the hand slap are. Now here's another difference to the Japanese version. That mini Neki is not there in the Japanese version. There's Vulture Culture, and now we're moving on to Treetop Town. There's you need Diddy to get that bonus area. Just not uh, bounce on this naughty. Hold B, and there you go. In this one, you want to spell out Kong using the barrels. If you touch the banana at any point, you'll fail the bonus instantly. The GBA version handles that a little bit differently, however. If you get the banana on the leftmost barrel, you have to get a banana for all of them. And guess what your reward is for doing that? A single banana. Alright, this stage is all about barrel cannons. Just press B when you're not over a pit of death. and you'll be safe. Everything will be hunky-dory and fantastic. 
There's a checkpoint. There's a barrel here. I'm not sure why they... Okay. Let's see. Don't grab the barrel because you're going to regret it if you get hit. You could take this barrel that's right in front of me, but I like doing this. Watch out for the naughty. Give it a sec. Almost screwed it up. There's a bonus right there. Ah. Ah, great. Hold on. If you're good enough, you can actually get in that barrel repeatedly. Hold on a sec. Do this. Almost screwed that up, but luckily I didn't. Watch out for these critters. Oh, you're supposed to go into these uh, auto barrel cans, but I like doing this. Oh, this one. Okay. This part can be a little bit nuts. Yep, that's exactly what I was afraid of. I knew I should have switched to Donkey. Yeah, some people claim that Donkey is utterly useless in this game. Let that be the shining example of where Donkey can come in handy. So you can avoid an unintentional death like I just went through. See, I was at the end too. That's the worst part because I saw the G. Don't need to do that again. Yep. See, I clearly pressed Y, but it didn't happen apparently. See, that's where Donkey's useful. Do not grab that ostrich token, especially if you don't know how many you have. Because if you get a third one, you're going back to that checkpoint. Okay, now we're moving on to Forest Frenzy, which is far more difficult than Vulture Culture, for sure. Give that rope a second to come back. Do not jump after it. It will come back. Roll. And we got Diddy. You're brave. You can go for that K, like that. Come on. There we go. Just roll. I should have mentioned that if you are rolling or cartwheeling, you are pretty much invincible. Pretty much invincible to anything that doesn't have spikes. Like the zingers, for instance. There are a ton of them. So if you can avoid it, uh, try not to hold... Well, I was about to say try not to hold Y, but... As you can see, I got hit. Luckily, Diddy's right there, so... I'm gonna just grab my buddy, and we can get moving. There's just a minefield of zingers. It gets much worse, though, later in the, uh... In the stage, you're gonna be seeing a lot of neckies flying at you. There's the N. I missed the O. But it doesn't matter, because it's not required for 100% in this game. Go ahead and scroll up, or move up rather. Here's the G. There's a free life, screw that, I'm not going after it. Here come the Neckies. Now there's a bonus area that's right here. Right there. Uh, uh, find the correct animal token this time. Just like the extra life game, except it goes a little bit slower. Yeah, that would have been nice to have earlier. And I believe this is going to put us right at the end, too, yeah. There's a barrel. If you want to get this bonus, uh, set it down and do this. Remember, when you're rolling, you're invincible. Let's see, I think it's at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, at the very bottom. Karate Chop It. This one has a ton of bananas for you to collect, and there's also an Unguard token at the end of this. And it looks like we're showing off Unguard's bonus stage. 
Okay, so this is in Guard's bonus stage. As you might have guessed, he's entirely underwater. And it's the same thing as the Rambi stage, except the timer does not go at like double speed. There's some hidden rooms to discover. As a matter of fact, on Guard's giant token is right below where you start. But of course you want to get a good score, so don't grab it too soon if you can help it. Use the Y button to speed up the process. Just collect as many tokens as you can. I'd like to show off some of the secret rooms though. Hmm. Ah, here we go. There's one. It looks just like this. Let's see if I can go for 600. Alright, like I said, Ungar's giant token is right below where you start. Go down here, get your score multiplied, and that's the end! Six extra lives, baby! And because we grabbed the third Unguard token during a bonus stage, we'll be warped right out of the bonus stage. Just like I said before. And that's, uh, Forest Frenzy. I was about to say Vulture Culture for a second. Temple Tempest. Um, yeah, I, I got a little bit of time. Let's do one more. Let's see. I think you can actually jump up there with uh, Diddy if you're lucky. Oh, almost got hit right there. This stage is interesting because those red naughties and those giant wheels will come after you once you pass them. Um, the next, yeah, there's actually a bonus stage right here that introduces the animal friend Expresso the Ostrich. But we'll be seeing him in the next level anyway. Go ahead and grab the checkpoint. Okay, there's another naughty. Watch out for the zingers. There is a bonus right here. Jumps drop straight down. Oh, another one of these minigames. Whatever. I already show one of those. This one has one. Oh, I think I screwed it up. Got it. Okay. I don't know why I'm getting it because I didn't get the K. Watch out. I want to jump over here. Bounce along these tires. You grab a banana bunch for our trouble. Grab another banana bunch. Right, I'm gonna hold on a second. Yeah, switching is a little weird in this game. You can't be on a slanted surface. Oh, oh! How did I even do that? That was so cool. I still don't know how I did it either, but okay. And with that, we have reached Candy Safe Point and are moving on to Orangutan Gang. But we're going to save that for next time, okay? So we're going to finish off World 3 in the next part. See you guys later!